Who would ever think someone would be murdered in your backyard? Ron Logan owns a property where the bodies of Libby German and Abby Williams were found. Just days after their murder last month, Logan spoke with local reporters. A double homicide. This is a first. Today, Logan's property was back in the spotlight, this time crawling with investigators who have a warrant to search his home, shed, anything he owns. As part of the search, Logan's car was towed. This crime happened more than a month ago, and now you search his home. Why so long? This isn't the first dealings that we've had with Mr. Logan. He, we have spoken with him during throughout this entire investigation. If we investigate these things, new information comes forward, and, and that new information leads us uh, to further the investigation. Logan is already in police custody on a parole violation. Sources tell CBS2 he was arrested for drunk driving. Sergeant Perrine says he doesn't know if Logan had a personal relationship with the girls or their families. Indication of what you're looking for? Any evidence that would lead us to believe that A, he's either connected to this crime or B, he's 100% not connected. Police stress Logan is not a suspect. He's part of the investigation that includes following up on more than 13,000 tips in the search for this man, the photo taken by German before she died. Do you think that the man in the photo could be Logan? You know, the man in the photo is, is a, a middle-aged white male, and uh, Mr. Logan is also a white male. So at this point, um, you know, we, we can't verify one way or the other.